Welcome and thanks for joining us. I'm Taylor Vido. New tonight, we're learning more about an armed robbery that happened not far from Gonzaga. Students there who had just returned to campus for the year were told to stay in their homes as police searched for the suspect with a canine. Krem 2 Shana Waltower has more on how police were able to find the alleged robber and how students there are responding. Right now, it's a quiet neighborhood where many Gonzaga students are calling home. But this was a much different scene from last night, where many students were asking questions around police lights. Because everyone was outside that house, and we were a little bit confused. And so I walked over to ask the police officer what was going on, and then he was like, everyone get back in the house. Last night, around 1015, Spokane police responded to a call about a man who broke into a home and was carrying a knife on East Nora. Officer Nick Briggs says their canine unit was unable to find the suspect, but they were able to track him from a phone he'd stolen from the house. They identified the suspect as 51-year-old Kenneth Vanson. He was hiding just a few blocks away from that home. Today, the neighborhood is quiet again, but people in the area are still shaken up over what happened. Jessica Gardner says she had just come inside from her backyard when she saw police lights across the street. We just saw a bunch of flashing lights outside when the cops came, so we all kind of gathered outside to figure out what was happening. She says while all of this was unexpected, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. It makes me feel a little scared just because it is happening so close and it is a possibility that we could get broken into. It's yeah, it's scary. Um, we are always, we try to be pretty, pretty diligent about locking all our doors and making sure in the evening all our windows are closed. Last night, Vincent was booked into Spokane County Jail and charged with burglary and robbery in the first degree. He's also been convicted for a previous assault. Shana Waltower, Crime 2 News.